You can stay here and farm this. Bomb. Done. Do it again. Before the level up. Pop. Pop. Yo, yo, what's going on, guys? How you guys doing today? Hopefully, you guys are having a great day. We're going to be talking about Luna. How she's a sleeper mob DPSer. I'm Reckless from Reckless Perry Gaming. Let's get started. All right, welcome back to the video. I want to appreciate you guys for dropping by. Consider subscribing if you guys are interested. But one thing I noticed about specific Luna, and I was able to get her, and I was able to get the mod noise surge before the update. So I was happy I got it, but then also when they made it easier to get it, I should have waited. But anywho, I'm glad that it's easier to get this mod. I think this mod is really good. Specifically, if you wanted to use her for supporting and for DPSing, this video specifically is going to mostly focus on her DPSing style. There are some things I want to go over with you guys. I think is some really good potential for her when it comes to DPSing. Obviously, everyone's going to use her for her buffing because she's a crazy buffer. Um, but I want to show you guys is her DPS style. So let's get into it. So I want to show you guys, I have no mods currently right now inside her right now. And this is her base stats. Now, one thing I noticed kind of quickly is she has a little higher uh, skill critical hit rate versus a lot of other people. Um, she's up there with um, Bunny and Lepic and those sorts when it comes to her critical hit rate specifically. So when I noticed that, I wanted to specifically build to see, okay, how good is a DPS or is she? You know, is she a really good DPS uh, character? Um, so I was looking around trying to figure out what I, how I wanted to play her and I started to come across something that was very interesting um, and then I had a few people um, kind of help me explain you know this is what you kind of want to focus on and I was really noticing the difference right away um, and a big huge shout out to uh, GWiz the other day on stream was able to school me a little bit more on her skill one specifically if you're using noise surge um, how you can actually build up your skill critical rate um, and this is crazy. Um, so what I want to show you guys is again base stats 15 critical rate um, But now let's go over her her skills. We can understand how her skill actually works now We're gonna go base off of her normal skills first. So this is her supporting style We'll go after this go right into noise surge and you can go on and see how DPS wise now this video is not gonna be based off of her um, support style. There is some videos of other people doing support styles. Uh, I kind of want to see how she is damage wise. Um, for me personally, I personally like the range on her when it comes to supporting. Um, you can build a little bit of MP so you can always have um, your scaling go off of your MP. Um, you can build a little bit of duration but uh, you don't really focus too much on cooldown because um, you don't help yourself with your cooldown on successful notes it only helps you on your your failed notes um so just real quick let's go over her kit her skill one is her unique weapon um just like um freyna for skill four glaze massacre and um anyone else has a unique weapon like lepic also has a unique weapon on her in his four um your four is on your first skill all right her skill one will be her unique weapon now you're going to see these um, notes that come up to your crosshairs and if you hit your trigger button you would actually successfully hit the note. If you don't hit the correct note you actually get a special sound that you know you know pretty much that you failed the note. Um, you want to hit these successfully specifically on if you're using it for supporting if you hit perfect pitch which again you hit that note specifically it will give you skill power modifier and that does stack up to 25 um, times so you can give 25% um, skill power modifier on there so just keep that in mind and then whenever you use her 2, 3, or 4 which is her other um, buffing abilities you're going to get 10 shots no matter whenever you switch it over um, there is a cap of 55 but long story short if you were to look at her 2 her 2 pretty much is her buffer when it comes to um, skill power modifier, not just for yourself, but also for your allies. Um, so just keep this in mind. Again, if you add nimble fingers, it doesn't help with your note success. Um, it only, unfortunately, helps out your notes on your failures. As you see here, um, it went from 15 to 14.1 um, because of the reactor that I am currently using off a of cooldown. So that's why you see it a little bit different because I have my, my reactor on here. Um, Another thing to keep in mind is you, you can also build her up based off of duration because your 
main buff only lasts for 14.5 seconds, but the buff only lasts for five seconds based off for your allies. So if you want to get a little bit more durations on there, you're gonna you have to build a little bit more towards that. But your duration that you build does not affect your duration, only your allies. So just keep that in mind as well. So skill two pretty much um, is your skill power modifier. Skill three is actually her MP recovery, which I made a video when they first revealed pictures of this character. I said in my head, and I even said in the video, and I post a little clip of it. I started to speak about it, but this character is a character that I'm thinking it would be really nice. Now their kit is probably already built out, right? But this is the character that I personally think that it would be amazing if they had like some sort of synergy about being a battery. Like I said, I don't know. I'm just speculating. That is just my thoughts on it. I said, it would be really dope. We have Eugen as a healer, Enzo as a MO um, buffer, and then Luna be an MP recovery. And I mentioned that. And it's really cool because I, I was able to get her and I was able to see her kid. I'm like, wow, she is an MP recovery. That's really dope. Again, that was a long time ago. That was over a month and a half ago when um, that clip came out. Um, so I just thought it was really cool. So skill three is her MP recovery. Just like anything else, um, duration only helps your teammates, not yourself. Your cooldown only helps you on your failure. And then your range, you have a cap of your range. So right now your meter is, um, your cap is normally at eight meters but then your cap is 250 percent of that which is about 20 meters give or take um so you don't want to go past past that so you have to be cognizant when you're adding certain mods that you don't go past certain uh, range because then you would have um no no effect when it comes to that um so uh her skill three will be her um her mp recovery and you can also build your mp recovery by it goes based off your max MP. So if you have components that can give you max MP, things of that sort, that would be really helpful so that you're able to help out by giving back MP to your teammates. So just keep that in mind. If you max that out, it's really good too. Next is her skill four. Skill four pretty much is a cooldown of everything. So this makes it so much easier for your teammates to use your abilities a little more often. Some people, this doesn't even work, help at all pretty much. Um, but a lot of people are going to be using their skills a lot. Uh, so this helps them out to be able to use the skill again a little bit faster. Like I said, with everything else, range um, has a cap. Your duration only helps your teammates. Um, and cooldown only helps your note failures. So with that being said, let's go into her passive. All right, her passive pretty much just gives you an understanding of... When you activate her one, she has an inspiration gauge. That inspiration gauge is maxed at 14. If you hit the notes successfully, um, you can... And the notes are your switching of powers. When you are when you are supporting the switching of power from 2, 3, and 4, when you successfully switch your power, that will get you one note. Now, skill 4 does have a, a special be benefit when you are enhanced. Um, the enhanced version will pretty much give you a chance to give you two notes to come back um, but keep in mind that also um, by hitting those notes if you fail you also lose a note as well and also keep in mind that the inspiration gauge if you don't do nothing and you're out of combat 20 seconds in you lose everything when it comes to it so just keep that in mind um, when it comes to your gauges um, that you want to max it out because you do want it to be enhanced now when you have the mod noise surge it changes this up altogether so now let's go ahead and show you what noise surge looks like. All right, now I want to show you guys how I have noise surge and I'm playing around for it a little bit. I'm still trying to figure out, fine tune it. I don't want to waste too many more crystalline catalysts until that update really does pop up. When it does, maybe we do an update to this video to see how it's used. Um, but because she's mostly focused on crit, a lot of her crit rates are this specific socket type. Um, and then a lot of her supports are not the same. So it kind of hurts that you try to focus on one. You can't do the other, unfortunately. Uh, but currently right now, we have Noise Surge. Now what this does, it just changes her whole entire kit. Um, so let me first go over um, her kit. Then we go over the stats. And then we go over um, something to keep some things to keep in mind. Let me show you how her crit can get 100%. All right. So 
nothing different here pretty much um it's all the same if you fail you do lose a lot of mp so keep that in mind that definitely hurts you a lot so you might want to if you're prone to losing and not hitting that note you might want to focus on some mp because that can hurt you a lot if you miss um her range now changed from eight meters to six meters and it's only at 250 percent so right now 250% of 6 meters is 15 meters. That is your cap at. Now, just to show you real quick, I do have skill expansion maxed out. Uh, I have maximized range. Now, I haven't put any more on it because, unfortunately, maximized range, if you put this over, this would actually bring it to over 17 meters. And with my reactor, 18 meters. And there's no point. That's 4 meters and you're wasting slots when it comes to this. So right now, the best with my reactor, like I'll show you real quick, my reactor is uh, range. It's a purple range. If I can get a gold one, it could be a little bit better value. But we're talking about right now 14.4 if 15 meters is your max i'm only 0.6 away there's no point for me to chase that 0.6 right now um but if you wanted to you can put a little bit more just to be able to get it to that max you just gotta keep in mind that maximum range will actually take away from some of your skill power modifier so just keep that in mind if you wanted to you can upgrade it now i unfortunately i don't want to feel like i build another range i do have a maxed out range i don't want to build another one um just to meet her 15 meters um but just keep that in mind you could do that if you wanted to it's up to to us up to you totally now um, again, her range is 15 meter max, but her skill one, if you look at the bottom, Largo, is her critical hit rate 1%. That lasts for 14 seconds, and the stack is 26, okay? 26 stacks, so it means all in total, you can have 26% crit rate on there, which that scales, which is crazy, really good. I'm going to show you how that works out. Now, the actual math behind it, I'm not the greatest, but a big shout out to our buddy uh, G-Wiz um, on Twitch. He was able to help me out and explain a few things. So, truly appreciate it. He was able to change my mind on a couple of things. Her skill 2, the only difference with this is now her skill 2 crescendo pretty much gives you a critical hit damage increase. This also scales to 26% as well. And then on top of that, her skill 4 is her skill power modifier. Now, this goes to 26% as well so you have a buff on there as well now her four to me is her fastest pace one um, you'll be able to spam it as quick as possible sometimes sometimes and I'm just saying this and I don't want this as a hot take but sometimes you can spam your four the note faster than bunny can actually run and travel so you can actually hit that now if you do the grappling bunny and you try to time your jumps and your run sure you can try to get around there but this i can literally just spam four and i will hit more notes uh, which then pulsates more and the way this works is instead of using your gun which will be your trigger button you would have to use your skill power to get the benefit of, and increase your inspirational gauge and we're going to show that in, in this video as well and um actually let's go show that right now because that could be very confusing for people so if you activate her one which is unique modifier now instead of using the gun like I, like I said, this doesn't improve your, unfortunately, your inspiration gauge. But if you do this, change your power, instead of hitting the note with the trigger, hit the note with skill power, you can see my inspirational gauge start to go up. So that changes how her playstyle is. So the only thing is on controller. That means if you are on PlayStation, you would have to hold the L1 button and whatever skill power you're using which is very annoying for a lot of people so i know a lot of people who are remapping their controller if they're playing with luna i have a scuff some people have the the sony edge controller however you want to play you have to remap it so that you don't have to just be annoyingly pressing l1 and then whatever the um the skill power it is for you guys so just keep that in mind unfortunately um but it makes it easier where you don't have to focus with the gun and look for a target and shoot you can just anything within that range of 14.4 meters right now or 15 whatever you have it at um will take damage which is really nice which makes it so much easier so again um instead of doing that i can just spam my two and i don't have to do anything which is really nice another thing to keep in mind is only when you have negative um, successful, no, negative failures uh, of your notes that you're actually affected. So if I don't do nothing, I'm going to lose my skill 2. But check this out. I don't lose my skill 2 on a cooldown. 
right? So that's really nice. So if you can't hit your nose or you're waiting, just let it go. Just let it go. Don't don't feel like you have to spam it if you don't need to. But you can pop it. And let's say you're done with the ads. So instead of keep spamming it and possibly might hit a note or you're trying to grapple, don't mess yourself up. Just wait a little bit. You never think your your skill will pop pop up. But if you fail, there you go. Now you have a long cooldown, unfortunately. So just keep that in mind when it comes to that. Um, you don't have to make sure you hit every single note. You don't have to. So with that being said, now let's go back into her uh, kit. So we talked about critical hit rate, critical hit damage, skill power modifier. Pretty much talked about that. Now, the way I have it set up is I have emergency measures that gives her 64% crit rate and also crit damage. You also, I also have front lines that gives you 27.7% crit rate and crit damage um, is 64.6. And then I also using skill insight that gives you 115% crit rate. So I am pushing that crit rate as much as possible. As you see here, I have 207%. Um, 27.7 percent now she's base 15 percent with those mods added to her she's only at 46.15 okay so she's almost at 50 percent crit rate now you don't have to go crazy with this you don't have to max it out as much as possible but you're going to have to need to use her one to max stacks now what i mean by that is her one is her crit rate um buffer now if you see i'm gonna pop this now for me and my build, around 16, maybe 17 notes is where my max cap is at. But let me show you guys real quick what I mean by that. You go ahead and spam this. Pop. Like I said, you're just going to spam this. Get. You can do this while you're fighting, while you're not fighting, while you're waiting, while you're spawning in, all that stuff. Just waiting. You can just pop this, get the buff going. And like I said... I'll show you in a second, but I'm going to bring it almost to max. All right. So we're at 21. I'm going to check this out. We're at max. Okay. Now, give or take, we, we hit 17 notes right now. So that's why it's going down slowly. But we were at max stacks. And if you keep your stacks going, you can keep you can bring that up higher. You said you can keep that going. Okay, got that going. Again, we hit max stacks right now. And again, 100% crit rate. Okay, now this is why she's really cool because now you can build specifically for crit damage. You can build specifically for, you know, base um, skill power. Because now you can do some crazy damage. And again, this is why I was like, I really want to see what her build is like. Because she can probably do some crazy damage. And I just right now don't want to waste my sockets. Um, there's so many characters to build. There's so many characters that I want to keep playing around with and make more guide videos. But I feel like this has some crazy potential. Uh, maybe someone out there might be more willing enough to do it right now. But until that update comes out, I'm probably not going to play it a little bit further. But right now, just for doing some DPSing, like, you know, you're out there farming in the open world. She's really fun to play around with. Her four is probably going to be one of her fastest ones, and I love spamming her four. It's just so much easier. Like I said, if I'm, I can hit this a little bit faster than Bunny sometimes with my notes. Um, while Bunny is still running around, or you have to grapple, I can hit quite a few more times. The only thing that Bunny has over is that fast running around, and it's passively, right? Like she doesn't have to do nothing. She can just just run, and she'll just hit where I have to hit her note. But I think as long as you can do that, you're you're pretty good. Um, so she's really good at mobbing to be able to spam. Now, I don't know about doing DPS bossing um, for like a Colossus, but for mobbing out in the open world, she's really fun to play around with. Um, you can play around with her her mods. This is the way I have it set up. You can change this around. Now, now this is technically, uh, let me see, maximize power real quick. Maximize. Now this is, We're going to try spamming a little of this. Again, you can play around as much as you want. Um, look at that. I'm already hitting 228%. Uh, 220. Just, I'm hitting. I'm hitting hard. Look at that. And I have yet to go into my four. My four is going to be the biggest one. But I've seen out in the open world um, with something similar to what I have. Um, I've been able to see crit rate and crit damage hit around three to four. 
um, 100K, which is pretty big. I mean, for a support DPS, pretty solid. You probably, again, if you could scale more on her DPS and put more mods in her, she's going to do a lot more damage. And she's doing just as big range as Bunny. Uh, sometimes if you can get her one and two to work very well and get them to max stacks, then you can then jump into her four and then really just spam that out. Um, a lot of people are not going to like her because of her whole kit, her unique kit that the note has to hit the crosshairs for you to actually um, start doing damage. A lot of people don't want to do that. But if you like shooting, you like Dance Dance Revolution, this is your character right here. So I really do like her. I do have fun playing around with her. I like to bring her out. Um, she, you're going to see people, you know, Bunny. Bunny's going to be one of the best ones for mobbing. She's on her tier on her own for sure. Um, but I think, you know, she's she's up there um, with, you know, Viesa. She's up there almost with Valby. Valby has amazing where you can just leave the water and then just walk away. Uh, so it's kind of hard to beat that specifically. But she's up there when it comes to getting rid of a lot of mobs on here as well. Um, a lot of support characters are pretty good. Uh, I plan to do an update version of my Eugen build. A lot of people have been asking me, hey, it's been one month. I have 10k on that views uh, pretty much on that video. Um, so people are asking me, hey, it's been one month. You know, what's going on with this update? And I plan to do an update specifically on Eugen, um, both the healing and DPSing because he is a really good character when you have those specific mods that can make her make him do pretty much one or the other. All right, I want to show you guys now the fastest way to level up a character. Now, I don't know if this technically is an exploit, um, if they're going to have issues with this. Um, but just to show you, if you're just trying to level up your character, if you go to the traditional, what people say, Viesa farm, you go here with Luna, she makes it so much easier. Let me go ahead and show you that real quick. All right, everyone knows this as a Viesa farm, but you can do this with Luna, perfectly fine. I'm not using my main weapon, which is my Enduring Legacy. If we swap over to that real quick, this makes it so much easier. Uh, I can't switch over because I already did this. But you do this, do this. You can do it even with the, not the weapon you're using as your main. You can stay here and farm this. Bomb. Done. Do it again. For the level up, pop, pop. Here comes the ads, and you just spam. Done. Again, this is a really fast way to level up a character. Like I said, don't know if technically this is an exploit or not, but I wanted to show you that this farm is even better when you have a Luna. You can stay in one spot, it's one person, you can shoot it and then stay in your one spot and just spam out your four if you needed to. Um, but that is the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Comment, like, and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Peace.